And joining us now to share some insight on this important topic is Ethan Lane, the Executive Director of the Public Lands Council and NCBA Federal Lands. Ethan, let's start by talking about public lands and why that issue is so important to the beef industry. Well, when you get west of the Mississippi River, when you get out into the western United States, you simply can't talk about the beef industry, you can't talk about cattle production without talking about public lands. You get into these western states where you might have 60, 70, or 80, or even 90 percent government-owned land, it dramatically impacts how our members are able to produce their product on the ground. Mm -hmm. So we spend a lot of our time focusing on, on just exactly how that interplay works and how we can ensure that our producers are being as, as effective as possible without the government getting in the way of their, of their operations. You've had some real wins uh, in 2018. Let's talk about some of those. We have. You know, 2018 was a good year for, uh, for federal land ranchers as far as regulations. Coming out of the uh, uh, first year of this administration, we spent a lot of time on pressure relief. We had some critical uh, uh, issues that really needed attention. These are things that were coming out of the Obama administration that were really detrimental to producers. Mm -hmm. um, we had enough success with those in the first year that we felt like we could turn our attention to some of what I call big game hunting priorities. Looking for big reforms on the Endangered Species Act, on the National Environmental Policy Act, grazing regs, sort of foundational issues that are critically important to how our producers operate and the things that sort of are the root cause of little or problems that we kind of have to put out and, and you know use our attention sure. and, and chits on from time to time. So whenever we have the opportunity like we have now to work with an administration that's that's open, that's all ears, uh, that's how we like to use that time. So uh, here we sit two years in um, with proposed regulations coming out of the uh, Department of Interior on the Endangered Species Act, comprehensive yes. regulatory change. National Environmental Policy Act out of the White House, we've worn a groove in the pavement between our office at NCBA and the, and the Council on Environmental Quality at the White House talking about NEPA, talking about how it impacts producers, whether you're a feedlot, whether you're a producer in the West. If you're in doing anything with federal permitting, yep. NEPA is gonna come visit you. And so we wanna make sure that process works better and more effectively. The White House has pushed out a proposed rulemaking on that. We expect that to be foundational changes to how NEPA is implemented. And finally now we're working on grazing regs, the nuts and bolts implementation of how the federal government administers the BLM and Forest Service grazing programs. And we think we're going to see a lot of progress on that front here in 2019 as well. I know that's great news to lots of Western ranchers. So what's on your radar for 2019? We're going to try to close these three big issues out in 2019. We feel like always uh, in D.C. we're working and look, you know, against the clock. We're looking at what we have left as far as uh, uh, time before the next administration. And we're also going to be working on some new issues that are, are starting to become bigger and bigger impacts to our industry in the West. Recreation is mm -hmm. becoming a bigger and bigger uh, uh, issue of concern for some of our Western ranchers. You know, 40 years ago, you were operating on a federal permit in Colorado. You probably don't see a whole lot of other people, maybe a few during hunting season, but with the boom in recreational use, we are now in, an, in a situation where there is a lot of intense use of that public land in the West. And quite often, ranchers are the only ones there to pick up the pieces, do the hard work, maintain fences, pick up trash. Um, and yet we also kind of receive a lot of the blame sometimes right. for some of that recreational use. We, we even talked about putting up signs uh, on some of our allotments to talk about uh, you know what they could do to, to care for those allotments. And the response we got from some of our ranchers was, well, they would give somebody a, a new sign to shoot at you know, next to the five that are already there. <laughs> So I, I think, you know, there's there's some frustration there, but there's also opportunity sure. to educate people who are coming out and using public land about what's already there. Hey, we're welcome to have you. We're, we're glad you're here to use it as well. But please be respectful of what's here. Mm -hmm. Be respectful of the fact that there's a lot of ongoing maintenance and management. Uh, so we're going to spend a lot of time this year talking about that. That's something we're hearing from producers Good. all over the West, everywhere I go. Um, so that's, that's really on our radar for this year. You talk about some of these short-term issues. Over the longer term, do you think there's possibilities and opportunities for significant reform in some of these areas? Absolutely. We, I, I think I would say we are in the midst of that significant reform right now. Okay. Um, I, I think that what we're doing, and obviously we always talk, you know, regulatory reform, statutory reform. Congress is in a divided state. Nancy Pelosi has resumed her uh, role as Speaker of the House. Yeah. That is going to present some unique challenges for us. Sure. Um, just being real blunt, the administration and, and on that regulatory side is where we can get work done in 2019. So that's where we're going to put a lot of our focus and that's where our priorities are going to be. 
That doesn't mean there aren't going to be opportunities on Capitol Hill. Um, whenever they, these guys have to work together to figure something out, um, uh, it, it does present some opportunities for an industry like ours that, that provides so many benefits to so many different parts of the economy mm -hmm. uh, to play a, a kind of a peacemaker role and to, and to get in there and offer some solutions. Um, that's what we hope to do. We've had a lot of time up on the Hill. The lobby team in D.C. has spent uh, countless hours already this year meeting those new members of Congress, educating them, uh, particularly in some of those flip districts where you might have had a Republican before and now we have a Democrat, um, helping them to understand their new district and the fact that ag is a big part of those districts quite often. Right. Um, so that's, that's an area where we think we can pick up some ground, make some new friends, uh, and hopefully maybe get some statutory work done as well. But we, we expect this to be a very impactful year on the regulatory side. Outstanding news. And one last quick question. What can people do if they want to support the Public Lands Council? Well, there's a couple things they can do. First and foremost, they can engage with their state affiliate. They can engage with their PLC locally and make sure that they are, are, are doing what they need to do to be a member of, of, the, of the team here. Mm -hmm. um, and, and then second, they can call their members of Congress and they can communicate to their to their delegations exactly where their concerns are. The more they hear from our folks out on the ground, the more benefit they can provide. And, and finally, obviously, they can join NCBA and they can be part of this industry as we all join together, all of our state affiliates, our national affiliates, the American Sheep Industry Association, and NCBA in, in really advancing our priorities on Capitol Hill. We are stronger when we all work together on these issues than we are as a divided group. So uh, that's what they can do is, is flip those switches, make sure they're, they're playing with the team, and, and, and talk to their members of Congress and make sure they're being heard. It is a team sport. Thank you for being on our team. You bet. For more information on the issues that impact federal lands and the ranchers that graze there, be sure to visit the website publiclandscouncil.org.